online, thank you for watching. Many of you present have travelled a fair distance to get here and we appreciate you taking the time and effort. It is especially delightful for me to see all my aunties and uncles today who have known me since my childhood and have seen Vikram as a baby. Vikram has always been interested in Indian classical dance, especially Bharatanatyam, and also music and drama. From his youngest three, he would watch and enjoy Indian classical dance pieces and try to copy what he saw. He would listen to songs, including Indian classical songs, and would sing them and play them on his keyboard. From the age of five, he started Bharatanatyam classes run by Annapurna Dance Company, founded by Mishishanta Rao. His guru, Sri Santosh Menangaru, a renowned Bharatanatyam dancer and teacher, trained at Kalakshetra College of Fine Arts in Chennai. As parents, we are delighted with Vikram's keen interest in this traditional art form, and we are proud of how far he has come. Finally, our heartfelt thanks to his guru, Santosh Menon, for his time, support, encouragement and dedication throughout Vikram's journey. And a special thank you to Dr. Swarup Menon, who has driven all the way from the South Coast and has been a great support and encouragement for Vikram. Thank you to the orchestra and the anchor Reshmi for their contribution and support. A special thanks to both my aunt, Radha, who I know is watching this event from Hyderabad, and also to my cousin, Nani, for their help and contribution. Last but not least, a loving thank you to my mum, Lakshmi Karyala, and my dad, Dr. Vivekan Muthi Karyala, for their help and support in getting this event organised. And of course, mustn't forget, a thank you to Abiram. You did a splendid job today, giving out the brochures uh, and gifts. Uh, you'll be pay paid the agreed amount later. Uh, we hope you all enjoy the show. Thank you. Sri Guru Pyo Nama. Namaste. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Santosh Menon Anna welcomes one and all of you to Amida Vikram Bhavidamari's Bharatanatyam Aranitra. Bharatanatyam is an ancient South Indian classical dance form dating back to nearly 5,000 years ago. This dance form was known as Sadir or Chinamelam in South India. In North, it was known as Nach. The name Bharatanatyam was formed during the 19th century. Bharatanatyam combines of bha for bhava or expression, ra for ragam or melody, ta for talam or rhythmic beats, and natyam for dance. And Aranetram is an on-stage debut performance of a Bharatanatyam student after undertaking many years of intensive training testing the student's mental and physical ability of their understanding of Bharatanatyam. It is where the guru, the teacher, presents a shishya student on the stage for his or her first performance of a Bharatanatyam mangam or repertoire. For many of the world, the word Aranyatram may take on very much of a profound and spiritual meaning. Before we commence on to the first dance piece, we request that all videography and flash photography is strictly prohibited. Thank you so much. We begin tonight's perf performance with Alaripo and followed by a Pushpanjali. The Alaripo word is derived from one of the South Indian language, Telugu, 
meaning the blooming of a flower, petal by petal. It consists solely of pure dance or dritta, beginning with the subtle eye and neck gestures, slowly allowing the rest of the body to bloom into movements through various speeds. This Pushpanjali is um, on Mother Vinayaki, the goddesses with an elephant head like that of Lord Ganesha. The Devi Purana identifies Gananayaki or Vinayaki as the Shakti characterized by her elephant's head, ability to remove obstacles and include, includes her as the seventh Madhuka. The deity has an elephant's head with two trunks. Her body is of a young woman, vermilion red in color and with ten arms. The Pushpanjali Sloka lyrics are by Sri Santosh Menon. The choreography is by Sri Santosh Menon. Music composition is by Sri M. S. Sukhi. This alaripu is set to Mishra Chapu Talam. The Pushpanjali will be performed in Raga, Varamo, and Tali Adi. Talam Adi. Thank you.
coaching. That was an excellent performance, isn't it? It was a great start. So please give him a round of applause. Thank you so much. The next dance is a Jati Swaram. Jati Swaram brings out three aspects of dance. Unity of music, rhythm and movements. The message of a Jati Swaram is beauty. It is in pure Mrita item or pure dance, thus Anka Shuddha, neatness of the limbs, in combination with flow of melody and rhythm, should evoke sense of harmony and joy of dance in the hearts of spectators. Music composition is by Tanjavo Quadrat, dance choreography by Srimati Rupani Devi Arundhya. This Jyotiswaram is in Raghav Kalyani, set to Rubagatana. Enjoy.
next item is a shabdam. Shabdam is a Bharatnatyam item in which expression or abhinaya are introduced for the first time in the repertoire. The song, Sahityam, is usually separated into stanzas and between each stanza you will have simple korve, nritta steps. Each stanza contains a different story or all of them put together is in one single story. But essentially the whole item is about one person, one thing. This item is usually set to Mr. Chapthalam and Raga Maliga. Different ragams or tunes or four different stanzas. This one, this particular piece, composed by Tanjaur Quadrat, choreography by Maila Gauriamal, set to Raga Maliga, Tala Mr. Chapo. Next, could you please give me a bit more vocals on the stage monitors, please? Thanks.
Varnam are usually composed for gods, goddesses or kings. In this Varnam, the Nayagi, heroine, explains all of her sorrows and secrets to her close friend about how she is being deceived by her Nayaka or the hero. In this particular Varnam, heroine is a Vipralapta Nayagi, Nayaka Vanchita one who is deceived by the hero himself. She expresses her pain to her close friend. She says, Oh, my dear friend, please listen to my secrets about my lord that I, I have not disclosed with anyone else. The Varnam is in Ragam Balaji, set to Aditala. Music composition by Sri Subudu. Dance and Thirumanam by Sri Santosh Menon. Enjoy.
Wow. 
Yeah. 
knowledge and truth. I mean truth. It's very important we discover that in our lifetime. And dance has helped me and I know when I started the dance work, that was the reason we, we invested so much time to, to give dance to the community. Going back 10 years, in our company, we started these temple dance classes in Halifax with the vision that the young people in the community of Halifax here could access their own heritage, culture, and uh, through the training. I then invited, who, who should I invite? I invited dancer Santosh Menon. He is trained at the prestigious, when I say prestigious, um, I mean it, the word, at the Kalakshetra Foundation in Chennai, India, a government funded huge institution. Those of you who don't know, or most of you know, please don't think I'm patronizing you. And take these classes in Halifax, nothing but the best for our children, I thought. He traveled all the way from London every week, Thursday evening. And at 6 o'clock, he would come and, and I would pick him up, parents would pick him up and he would take classes. And here comes Vikram. I always remember, remember fondly watching Vikram, enjoying these classes so much and learning with passion, nothing but passion, joy and happiness. He was, when is the next class? When are we coming? When am I coming to the next class? Each time and every time. Vikram enjoyed the classes with Santosh Menon. Am I right? He stood, he stood amongst others for his love for dance. Sometimes I wonder, I'm not very uh, no, superstitious or anything, but I wondered whether there was something in his past life that makes him so. You know, it could be. So, and he's the first one, by the way, you're a witness to it, all of you, who has taken this bold initiative to share his dance with all of you through this traditional Aran Getram ceremony, which is very much part of our culture. Well done. Well done, Vikram. Today, he has shared his dance with so much confidence and fearlessness. What a brilliant performance he has given us. I am so impressed with the discipline, dedication and more importantly, his determination in working relentlessly towards the level of perfection he has achieved. I've seen every step of his growth and evolution. All these dances which he has learned and presented today, sorry, not all, I am sorry, I'll take it back, so, some of the most important dances he did, the Alaripu, the Jatiswaram, the Shabdam, all these items that he learned, that he performed uh, this, this afternoon, were created long time ago by the great masters of Indian classical music and choreographers of Indian classical dance at this institution. And this foundation, which is renowned for its quality, its excellence and its perfection in dance movies. The Kalakshetra dance style is not anybody's cup of tea. It's a very demanding dance style. And Vikram has attempted his very best and beautifully performed these dances with, so these treasured dances with ease. He has made it all look effortless. He has consistently put years and years of effort and hard work into this training. And he learns classical music as well. He goes and watches other programs, which is very good for an overall holistic personality development, which he has done. By the way, just be very brief with this, in all these 10 years, that he has also performed in all the important Arts Council and other people funded projects of our company whenever possible and major festivals, I must remember, I must mention it because these festivals are very prestigious festivals, Huddersfield Literature Festival. Did you know in the project, the soldiers of the empire in that, this young Vikram played the role of an Indian soldier who sacrificed his life for Britain in the World War I. What a role to play. And I was so proud of this little boy who did that role. That was for the Twitch Festival uh, three years ago. I must also talk about the budding dancers' rare skills as an individual. His spirit of adventure, his ability to take risks, and most importantly, his leadership skills 
at such a young age, 16 years of age. I was telling Dr. Geeta Apadhyay, I was like an amoeba in those days. But he has convinced that his parents, as well as his teacher, that he's capable of taking the challenge of this big day. I tell you, this is not easy. It's not easy at all. And he got the wholehearted support of all of them in this venture. This young boy has got all the support. These are all the remarkable qualities in a young person and such leadership skills. Vikram, you have proved you can do something unique in your life and so special at such a young age. Big round of applause for you, please. You have huge potential and you'll go a long way. Well done and congratulations. In our Indian culture, there's a golden saying, only when you completely surrender to your teacher or a guru, you can achieve your goal and reach your destination. And Vikram's total trust and respect for his teacher has brought him on this special stage in front of all of you. I must say, not everyone gets this privilege. He is one of those well, very lucky ones. By the way, certainly Vikram has not guru hopped at all. Guru hopping he hasn't done. Well done that for Vikram. And I, I don't think he'll do it. So finally, I'm coming to that. Am I boring you? Hope not. Going back to his guru, I have to say a few words. I really have no words to describe how hard dancer Santosh Manan has worked, especially with the community of Halifax. <laughs> Kalakshetra Foundation is an alumni of that. It's not just the quality of the dance I meant, it also teaches integrity and professionalism. And once the project is taken, it is completed for that person. And that's very important. And he has completed my project today. And that's why I'm so thankful to you, Santosh. In these 10 years, Santosh has trained many young people, uh, for the parents are here in the community, for the highest grade exams. Can you believe what it is? Can a miracle in Halifax? Santosh, you really are our community's pride and joy. You are. Yeah. On behalf of all the parents, I thank you. I'll come back, come to the musicians. I'll be brief on this. I know these musicians for a long time. Pratap did his first workshop in Halifax, actually. Vijayan did work with the community. Pavonchi Ji and Jagadas Sar is, uh, is new. I, I only say that they are, they are phenomenal. And do you know that? Do you know that they, they have created history today? And they have produced such such wonderful sublime music. All I can wish and praise that you all of you keep continuing to come back to this theatre, continue to present our dancers, and that is what I all of us will wish and take transfer transport us to the wonder of Indian culture and dance and tradition. As parents, Rudrani and uh, Dr. Kumar and the grandparents, your, your sincere attempt to give your son the best platform ever and the opportunity that he got is truly, truly commendable. Grandma and grandparents, all entire family supporting and it's so heartening to see a family doing this. What an experience today. What an amazing experience today. It's truly an extraordinary day in the history of dance in Yorkshire and in Halifax. Did you know that is the first time in Yorkshire an Arangi drum is performed with a full length repertoire and most of the repertoire is from Kalakshetra Bani. So, and of course, Santosh's own original choreography was superb. And the range of emotions, I'll finish in 130 seconds, Vikram portrayed in the Varnam, all the emotions, and it's just so, so, Fantastic, and to watch young boy of 16 showing all those emotions. He has learned the philosophy of India, the history of India, the culture of the philosophy of our community, uh, mythology, everything he's learned through the dance so far you have seen. So thank you all for sharing all these emotions with all of you and giving me this golden opportunity, Dr. and Mrs. Uh, uh, Kumar and Bamidivari for and Santosh as well for giving this opportunity to say a few words 
like this with all of you and share my joy and pride. Thank you and Namaste. Now I welcome um, Rudrani and Vikram to the stage to give away some gifts to um, Shandaka. So our next half of the performance will commence with a padam. A padam is a musical composition with the dancer being completely emotionally involved, consisting of pure facial expression or bhava abhinaya. Generally, padams are portrayed as a sringara rasa or extreme love where either the naiva or heroine pines for her lord or lover. In this padam, the heroine is a Virohit, Virohit Kandita, one who is distressed by her hero's separation. The Pallavi and Anapallavi celebrates the physical beauty of Lord Vishnu, focusing on his serene, moon-like face and curly locks. In the Charanam, the devotee becomes reflective, asking, what can I do? The, this composition is not just admiration of deity's beauty, but also an expression of the devotee, the heroine's surrender, helplessness, and profound longing for his divine grace. The Padam is in Ragam Dhanyasi, set to Tripulatala, music composed by Maharaja Swati Tirunal, dance choreography by Sri Santosh Menon. Uh, 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 uh. 
selected, I assume. The next item is an Ashtapati. Ashtapati's are hymns of the Gita Govinda, written from the 12th century by the Sanskrit poet Jayadeva. It depicts the life of Krishna, Radha and Gopis interpreted through dance. There are 24 divisions of Ashtapadis called Prabandham, which contains couplets grouped into eight, hence the name Ashtapati. This particular Ashtapati is the 17th Ashtapati out of 24 Ashtapadis in the 8th chapter. In the 17th Ashtapati, Radha's distress reaches her apex as Kantida Nayaka, Krishna, the all merciful Lord, does not come at night but appears the next morning. Though he tries his best to console the grief of Radha, she is not convinced and tells Krishna to go back to the other gopis with whom he has spent his night happily. Ashtapadis in Raghavatana said to Aditalam, music composed by the great poet Sri Jayadeva, dance choreography again by Sri Sandosh Menon. I'm 
beautiful Ashtapati, we have uh, Kirtanam, Devanama Kirtanam. Devanamas are names of God were the bhakti compositions that were the outcome of the bhakti moment in South India, especially Karnataka during 13th century to 14th century, see, whose main objective was to promote Dvaita, philosophy of Madhavacharya through literature. The Devanama in Ragamalika set to Aditala, music composed by Sri Purandaradasa, dance choreographed by late Sri Srimati Krishna Devi Lakshman. Chandaka, this is dedicated for you. Before we start this. <laughs> Before we start this wonderful composition in Kannada, which is my mother tongue and Shanta mother tongue, uh, I take, this is a very impromptu, uh, but I, I, I feel it is very necessary. I know we are running a little late with time, but I think it's absolutely important of this five minutes uh, that we, that I start to speak about this. Um, it's such a wonderful pleasure to be in this part of the country and thanks to uh, the doctor of parents who has brought us all the way from London to have this. So, this wouldn't have happened if if we didn't have people like Shanta Rao, who has been dedicated her life to, uh, to the art form. Such a passionate, oh my God, I met Shanta Rao, she brought me to this country in 1999. And I, since then, I've been working with her. I, I, I lived, I've walked through all this, these streets for many, many months. Every time, I mean, these memories come back every time when I come into Halifax. Thank you for that. It was wonderful to come back to Halifax. Feels home. And my God, uh, you people are so lucky. I mean, thanks again to Shantara to bring such wonderful dancer to this part of the town. We all have to agree that it's just like being you guys are so lucky. I mean, London is missing uh, Santosh, and you guys are so lucky to have him here. It is <laughs> It takes absolute dedication to come every week, weekend on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all the way from London with this pain, painful journey of trains getting cancelled, taking trains, changing here, delays and everything. I mean, I, I, we just can't imagine, we just did two, two journeys this time. And he has done this for years. My God, this takes a huge Ten years. Ooh, come on. Ten years. Ten years. <laughs> yes, yes, come on. Cheer up, cheer up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. He deserves a very good applause. Can we have a little bit of audience? Like nice an audience, please. Are you to see their expression? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's absolutely important. I mean, uh, as I said, that this culture, tradition is really important. And this is not possible without these people who have taken so much of dedication and discipline to teach this. It's, I'm saying I've been in this art form for more than 20, 30 years. It's incredibly difficult. Every micro beat, every micro second, if you take out a microsecond flash out of your memory for, for a, even for a glimpse, you lose the timing. You lose the timing, you go out of space and all these things. I mean, my God, he's 16 years. Unbelievable what he has done. Unbelievable. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you. I know um, that it has been wonderful working, knowing the parents. I mean, it has taken, it's not just the students' uh, interest, but until that kicks in, it's important. I mean, there are a lot of parents here, you're bringing your kids to the dance classes. What I'm saying is absolutely important. Please note it down. Kids, it's their tendency to always switch. Okay, you take them to cricket, they do it for two months and they get bored. They say, oh, I want to play badminton. Then you take them to badminton two years, they, they get bored. But please don't let them to decide these things. It's absolutely important that you push them to a certain limit and after a time it kicks in like what it has kicked into. Wow. And we will not come out of this. I'm telling you, we will not come out of this. 
and you have wonderful resource which is which is not there in London. You have it here all the way which has come down to London. Please use it to your max. Come on, train it out. He has got so much to offer to you guys. Bring your kids, make them learn this wonderful language. Thank you once again for Shanta and for Santosh to have, have us here. And again, I have to talk just two minutes, the two sentences of our wonderful team here. Mind-blowing. Fabulous. I, I mean, the energy on stage is I mean, the, the energy on stage is really fantastic out here. We are having such good fun here, exchanging the conversations with our musicalities. I mean, Wamshi, I don't know what's up today, I think what he had, I mean, he had a lovely breakfast, I know, but, <laughs> and it's really working. I think there's something in the Yorkshire water, which is, which is working for all you guys, so please keep it going. Yes, absolutely. And it's a wonderful team here, my God, uh, um, Vijay just leaves a stone's throw away from here. Please use him, bring your kids to him, they are wonderful resources to you guys. And I hope we get to come more often to you to do more of these, these gigs. And please bring not just your people, bring all of you to more and more of this. If you don't come, this art doesn't exist. It'll, it'll die out. Yeah? So please, I mean, movie, birthday parties can happen. But these things okay. will not happen again and again. So please come and bring more friends of yours to share this wonderful culture, what we have. Thank you. Beautifully summed up by my musician brother on behalf of all our musicians. We were talking about all these things about Santoshi and about his commitment and perseverance uh, through, throughout our rehearsals and our sessions and our travel uh, to this place and all that. But I just would like to add one more thing. Santoshi also deserves a standing ovation and he is an absolute asset to this part of the world. And we see teachers. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, go on. He's very selfless and he's very giving and I can see a lot of reflections of his personality in Vikram and that is a very very good prospect. I mean when we see a student being a reflection of a teacher, there's nothing better uh, sign than that and I can see how strict teacher he is. I mean I've seen him working with other teachers in London as well, helping them out, choreographing things for them. I've known him for a very long time and I have huge respect for him but that has doubled now with this experience. Um, and he's so giving and you know, he comes and he adjusts uh, for everything and he takes a lot of pain I've seen through the rehearsals and all that and the other thing is we all, I, I hope all my musician colleagues would agree, we work with a lot of teachers, hundreds of them we sing, we have sung for hundreds or if not thousands of Arangir from sponsors and all that. It's very very rare to see a youngster of this age, especially a boy, a boy, dancing this well and uh, uh, I'm not qualified enough to talk in front of uh, the giants like Shantarauji and uh, Geeta Ji and uh, other musicians and dancers who may be present in the auditorium. But the Anga Shuddham, and he's so passionate about it. He's very, very, um, how do I say, different youngster from what I have seen at that age group. Um, uh, he's self-driven and he chases his teacher and there's a beautiful bond between these two. Um, I mean, it's not possible with, without the commitment from the teacher. I'm a teacher, I'm a father, I know these things. Um, how difficult it is to teach a child, a student to this level, at the same time teaching a young boy in this country to this level. I think he definitely deserves a big, big applause and I'm very, very happy and proud along with my musician colleagues to be a part of this uh, evening today. Congratulations to the family as well and all the uh, the community which have supported uh, Vikram so beautifully and which have been, who have been supporting and will support in future as well Vikram and I uh, would love to see him flourish as a, a great dancer and be better than his guru one day.
passage of adavus with intricate brisk food words and simultaneous moment dance to a muscle score usually performed to a very fast tempo there usually is a small expressional stanza praising the gods and goddesses in this particular tilana it praises the goddess kamakshi who resides at kanchi temple tilana in ragam hindolam set to kantaeka music composed by tirugokarnam vaidyanathan ayyar dance choreographed by shrimati rukmini devi arundel thank you
before we start the, the final piece, I would like to invite um, Dr. Rudmini, sorry, Rudrani and Kumar, sorry, and Vikram's grandparents onto the stage, please. Can we have the lights? Thank you. request Sri Vamshi sir to come on the stage and receive this small gift from Vikram's family. Thank you so much. Can I invite Mr. Jaladharan sir?
like to call today's uh, I'd like to call today's anchor up to the stage, please, Rashmi. Thanks all. Let's progress with the final piece. Let's invite Vikram for the final performance. Please give him a round of applause.
give a thank you speech. Okay, yeah. So Mangalam. <laughs> Sorry, I just missed it, I guess. Yeah, we'll do the Mangalam and then I would like Vikram uh, ask Vikram to give a thank you speech. Thank you. Yeah. 
Thanks, everybody. Thank you for coming today and uh, joining us in the Sarang Nature. I would like Vikram on the stage to give a thank you note. He's going to get his mobile, so just bear with me for a minute. <laughs> and encouragement and for the organization of this event. And thank you to my mama and Tata for the help and support. And thank you to my mama for making delicious food for rehearsals. And thank you to the videographer, Anka, and the lighting and technical team at Hyvex Playhouse for making this whole thing happen. And thank you to the orchestra for your contribution. You have made this performance even better than what it was. And thank you to Ms. Shanta Rao and Annapurna Dance Company for starting me off with my dance journey. And thank you to, again, the Swarup sir for helping with the makeup, getting me ready for today. But last not least, my sincere and heartful thanks and gratitude to my Guru Sri Santosh Meningaru for teaching me for the past 11 years. I thank him for preparing me for this alligator. I thank him for his patience, support and encouragement and dedication throughout my learning. I'm also grateful for having a good teacher who's supportive throughout. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody. So I think uh, the day. nothing to talk about Vikram. You know already. <laughs> so, Shandaka, you need to say it about Vikram. <laughs> exactly. So, th there is nothing much because he's already deserved a lot of, you know, um, excellent. He did, uh, I think, as a teacher, I'm really happy because, you know, I just explained some of my, um, my ex-student's parents. <laughs> yeah, they are here. Yes, I'm all. So they, I, I always say, as a parent, you can prepare a food for your kids. The eating process by them. Yes. Isn't it? If you eat, it's going to our tummy and we'll get all nutrition. So, so the teacher exactly, so I can make them how to teach. I'll ask them how to, I know some of my students are here, you can listen properly now. <laughs> okay, so, see, I can make choreograph whatever my way. Whatever taking is a student's responsibility. It's not mine. Of course, I can do 100 or 1000 percent, I can teach them any any kind of way, like, you know, different types, Maybe here teaching different, and India teaching different, Hong Kong teaching different, so the way we can um, change it a different way, because we're getting a clay in our hand and we're making a doll. So, sometimes doll will be very weird, sometimes it will be very pretty, as usual, you know, so I think he's one of the prettiest doll, I got it. <laughs> Nothing much to say. Anything else? No problem. And I have to say about my orchestra. They are really, 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 really supportive. Vam Shiji, thank you, Pratapana. Everyone come on. Jalataran and Vijay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all your support. I know it's really support. I think our vibes, our, you know, it's nothing is clashing. Everything is going smoothly. It's like whatever he's saying, I'm understanding. And whatever I'm saying, they're understanding, hopefully. So, yeah, I think that is the main thing. You know, when the orchestra, the, the connection we should have in the orchestra. So, I have an absolute connection with the orchestra. I think that is the way. They're supporting Vikram like anything. Better than me. You know, my some of parents, sometimes I'm like a Rakshasa or devil, as usual. So, they say, oh, don't say like that. I'm, like, I'm used to that way, so I'm sorry. Yeah, they are very supportive, very, very supportive. Thank you so much. 
And thank you so much, all the audience. I know most of them I know. But thank you so much coming. I know we are running late. We suppose we start um, two thirty and some other place and we can start. Yeah, yeah. And thank you so much. I know um, they need you to go. I know you sleep. Some of, I know Halifax is too early to sleep, isn't it? After six o'clock is a ghost town. So sorry. So yeah. And thank you, uh, Nathan. Adarsh and Rexanna, thank you so much for your support. Thank you, Adarsh. When I'm looking at you, you know, you you are adjusting the light. Thank you so much. Thank you. Group photo, group photo. Sorry. Last but no least, Rashmi. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you. It was wonderful. And I'm not saying thanks to your daughters. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> My daughter and my niece has been taught by Santosh Ji, so I know he's saying he's Rakshasa. They will agree with that, but I don't. But yeah, <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, there is someone who say some few words. Uh, I know this is unexpected for everyone, uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, so I proudly say that uh, I have no role to play here at all. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, as, a, as one of the audience, um, I proudly say I'm uh, the music teacher of uh, our uh, Vikram. <laughs> so um, instead of saying, um, I just uh, want to sing something about uh, how he did it today. Mm -hmm. So I'll not sing the whole song. I just want, uh, I mean, a few phrases, uh, it struck my mind uh, when I was watching the performance, so I just want to share that. Thank you so much. Of course, Shandaka, you know, she's definitely will come. Otherwise, she's going to kill me. <laughs> thank you so much, uh, Geetaka. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I know it was short because um, there is some issues going on, so I thought, okay, I didn't call many of them actually. There is a lot of people I supposed to call. But anyway, you know, it's like that. So thank you so much, Shandaka and Geetaka. Once again, thank you.